Welcome back. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you an introduction to Dash, a Python framework for building dashboards and web applications. So in this simple introductory Dash application, we have a title, my first Dash app. We have a dropdown with four different um, options and values. And every time we change the dropdown, the histogram is updated. So let's look at how we build this uh, Dash app because I'm going to cover um, the basic elements of an app. And the basic elements of a Dash app are really just two. You can consider them as the building blocks, the layout section and the callback section. Now, the layout section is where you define everything that the user is going to see on the page. So as you can see here, we have our title, our dropdown, and our graph, right? So let's go here. Here we have our title defined inside an HTML div. We have our dropdown and we have our empty graph. Soon we're going to see why this is empty. And the dropdown is defined like this. We call the, we assign a list of strings to the options property. And the initial value is going to be smoker. So if I choose, let's say day and I refresh, You'll see that when the app refreshes and first loads, it's smoker. This is what the initial value is. If you hashtag out the callback and save and rerun the app, you'll see that inside our DCC graph, our figure property has an empty dictionary. So if we go back to the app, you'll see that now this graph is empty. There's nothing in there. The initial graph has an empty dictionary because the way you display Plotly Express graphs and visual and, and, and charts in a Dash app is you assign the Plotly Express um, graph to the figure property like this. And this is how it's displayed. But we are not going to assign it here. We're going to use the callback to build the graph and display it on the page. So this leads us to our second building block of Dash which is a callback. The callback is probably the most important building block because it, what, it is what allows the interactivity of the dashboard. Specifically, it connects between different components inside the layout. So in this case, you probably already noticed that the connection is between the dropdown and the type of histogram that is being plotted. So let's go back and look deeper into the callback. The callback usually has two sections, almost always, the callback decorator and the callback function. The callback decorator will have outputs and inputs, sometimes one and one, or sometimes multiple outputs or multiple inputs. And then the callback function will have arguments that are equal to the number of inputs, and then it will always return an object, like most Python uh, function. In one sentence, I would summarize the callback as a function that listens to components activity on the page and returns results to another component on the page. Again, remember this, it's important. A function that listens to components activity on the page does something inside the, the, the function and then returns the result to another component on the page which is in the layout. So in this case, we are listening to the value property of this component, which is right here, color options. So we're going to listen to this value. So if we change this to time, now this will be equal time right here, and this will be equal time right here. Well, a string of time. And we take this string that is chosen in the dropdown and we assign it to the color property of this histogram. And this works because, like in most Plotly Express graphs, uh, when we're using the pandas data frame, we just have to assign the column names to the properties to, to modify the graph. So in this case, we assign the time, or maybe let's assign the day right here. We'll assign day to the color. And now we build a figure, and we're going to return the figure to the figure property of the output. So all of this right here, this histogram, 
is actually being returned to this figure property right here. This is the main function of the callback to create the interactivity between certain components inside the layout.